Jaffrin. This meeting is being recorded. I'm Jaffrin. Ryan. I am Ryan Rothman. That's the wrong. That's just the wrong. That's the name. wrong name. You have got the yeah. wrong name. Why don't yeah, this you change is, it? Yeah, this is just my mom's computer. Okay, I'm gonna change it. Okay. What's your name? Ryan Rahman. Ryan Rahman. Have Ryan. you noticed that my name is the same last name as you? So you can already spell my last name. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I have the same last name of you. <laughs> so who is the real Rahman? You or me? Who? Both of us. Both? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, win win situation. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Farzad. Farzad, alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? Are you fine? Good. Yeah, I'm good. Just good. Not, not that much good. Just good. Just good. Yep, just good. Why just good? This it's a normal something... day. It's a, it's a normal day, day. nothing yeah. special to be, you know, super happy about. I don't know. I don't know. So mm. are you not excited about the class or afraid? Uh, kind of. Um, kind of? It's like a kind of on both. It's a kind of on both. Okay. Very good. Okay. Who is excited then? Let me see. Who is? Labib. Are you excited? How much excited are you? I couldn't tell. What? I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell because you have that much excitement. Because I don't know. Because you don't know why? Um, I don't know. Why? Why you don't know? You have to know. Because I never joined this class before. Really? That's the yeah. answer. Oh, so you are like confused or something? Um, A little bit? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. No. Good. Who is this name? Who is this name? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Why can't I see you? Are you a ghost? No? Not. Oh, no? Oh, you're a human being. Huh, I, I thought you were a ghost. Okay. So, Fawaz, nice haircut. Who's haircut? Nah, Fawaz. Fawaz, unmute yourself. Fawaz, Fawaz, can't you speak? I can. Really? Yes. No, I don't believe that you can speak. Why can't okay. I... Where are you from? Why, why can I why can I not speak? That's what that's the my question. Why can't you speak? What happened to you? Nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, nothing is very bad thing, you know? Nothing is very bad. If nothing happens to you, then it is very bad. So, you know, nothing happened to Fawaz. Very bad. That's what he's like in trouble. Okay. Because nothing has happened to him. Okay. Who else want, wants to get nothing? <laughs> no one? <laughs> no one wants to get into trouble? Okay. So, who knows? Why are we here? For what? To play games? No. no? For our religious class. Really? Yes. Oh, my yes. God. I thought we are no. here to play games. <laughs> no. Oh, very yeah. disappointing. You could change it to that. You could change so we could play games. Oh, yeah. I thought we, we are here to play games. And you are saying, no, it's not. We are for class. But I don't like yeah, studying. I don't class. like classes, you know. 
I don't like classes. I don't like study. So then change it to games. Change it to games. So what 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 games do you like? I like block block craft. Block craft. What is that? Is like that a name or game? On. It's almost like Minecraft. Ryan Rahman and Ryan Hassan. Very good. Where Ryan Hassan? Where are you from? Canada. Canada, and Ryan Rahman. Actually, I was born in I was born in the USA, but my parents are from Bangladesh. Yeah, of course they're from Bangladesh. I know. <laughs> but <laughs> where, where do you live? In New York. Or New York. Yes, New, New York? York. Yeah. Okay. And Farzad, where are you from? Canada. I, I'm in Canada. You're in Frederick Canada? Frederick. Okay. King. Okay, very good. That's name. California. California. Okay. Anas. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Where are you from? Bangladesh. Huh, Bangladesh? Where is Bangladesh? You're in Bangladesh. No, I don't know where Bangladesh is. Really? Is, is it a country in the Mars? Or some other galaxy, maybe? You are from some other galaxy. Are you alien? Yes, he is. No. Huh? So where is no. Bangladesh? I'm from, from the planet Jupiter. You are in Bangladesh. I am in Bangladesh? Oh, look, yes, Far look, look at Farzad. Farzad is out, you know, outside of Earth right now. He's in the space. Farzad, is your spaceship broken? <laughs> Where, why do you look like this? <laughs> like broken. I don't know. <laughs> what it's happened just like to you? It. It's just yeah. Like your your spaceship is broken. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so... What are we going to learn? What do you think? <laughs> Tasneem, what should we say when we sneeze? When we sneeze, what should we say? Alhamdulillah. Did you say that? <laughs> say Alhamdulillah. I did say. You did say? Okay. So if someone said Alhamdulillah after sneezing, what should we say? Do you know in reply? Who can say? Tell me. Can I say that? What should we reply him or her with? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Very good. Huh? Oh, all of you know these things. So what am I going to teach you? And then, then the person who sneezed, they say, Yahdi yeah. So this is the full phrase, okay? Anyway, thank you very much to, you know, you have joined today. I am really, really, really super happy to meet you. And we will have like two months journey, okay? We will we'll be sitting, uh, we will have this class three days a week. Okay, for two months, for next two months, you are stuck with me. Okay, and everybody, what should you do? There are some rules, okay, in the class. So if you really have some urgent work, okay, like if you can't join any day, then you have to let me know first, okay, before the class. Otherwise, if I see that, oh, Tasneem didn't join or Ryan Rahman didn't join, then in the next class, what will happen? You'll, you'll be given like a lot of tasks and a lot of memorization. You'll have to do that, okay? In for punishment, okay? <laughs> and all fun is over with you. And if you, you know, like join every session and if you are like, like regular, if you regularly attend the class, then, you know, you'll be like, Will be I will be very happy with you, okay? And one thing, you can't delay in the class. The time, the time, the time which will be given in the, you know, Zoom, uh, in in your WhatsApp group, 
Okay. The time to attend, you have to time. You you have to attend that in that time. No delay. Last thing, what happened? You have five fingers in a hand. I know. Anything else? What is special about your hand? What are you like showing this? Question. Now for this class, I can't even sleep. What? Yeah. I I didn't I didn't get you. What did you say? Now for this class, I can't sleep. For the class, you can't sleep because 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 it is very early morning in the you know early in the morning in California. I know it. Seven. Seven, yeah, seven. So you, what you will do? Uh, it okay. is seven. Thank what you will do? You will sleep. You will sleep four days, and you will not sleep three days. Okay, in a week. So you have got like four days to sleep. Our class, our classes are only three days. So you have got like four days. Oh my god. <gasps> so I say have Allah. A question. I yeah, for that. Like, what? When are the day, days we're gonna go, like, do class? Like on Monday, Tuesday, Friday? Like when? Don't you know? Huh? And I, I no, really don't is, know. It is given in your WhatsApp group, though. But it is like Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday. Okay. Saturday, okay. Monday, Wednesday. Okay, these three, three days. Okay. And Tasnim, you can sleep like Friday, Sunday. You know, like you can you can sleep the time. Okay, let's go to the main part of the class. So we are here for a purpose. We are, we are here for a purpose to learn something. Okay, so. Uh, this is a very special course for you for your summer vacation, okay? Because you 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 have very little, uh, you know, little things to study in the summer vacation because you have like your schools Actually, off. Actually, why is and... this course's name Poppy Ibrahim? Because it says in. Yeah, Poppy Ibrahim. You know her. You're muted. Don't you know her? Maybe your mom's your mom know her knows her. Anyway, yes, yeah, she is right now in the class. Do you know? She's hearing. Okay. Watch. What happened to your mom? Who's mom? Okay. So, do you know what we are going to read throughout the course? Who knows? Who knows? Ryan Rahman, do you know? How do you know? I haven't told you yet. The Quran. My my Nana told me. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So Ryan, can you tell me? Um what is Quran? What the do you know Quran. about it? The Quran is Quran is the holy book of Allah for Islam. You have to read it during Ramadan. You have to read it? During Ramadan. During Ramadan. So Quran is just for Ramadan or for the whole year? For the whole year, actually. Yeah, for the whole, not for the only one year. It is the for the whole life, okay? Actually, ooh, actually it, is, it, is, it is the, you know, for whole life, not only Ramadan, not only one year, or not only older people, but for all of us. We will be needing the Quran, the instructions of Quran, you know, throughout our whole life, okay? So that's why we are here to make us prepared for the future. You understand, Ryan? Yes. Do you, you know, can you read Quran? A, I don't know Arabic, unfortunately. You know Arabic, unfortunately. Okay, you. Luckily, this is English, so. I know Arabic. I get it. Okay, no problem. So, who can tell me what is our religion? <clears throat> who can tell me Islam. what is? My religion is Islam. Your religion is Islam, and what is Islam? I mean, you know, what is the difference? Yeah. Uh, between Islam and other religions. Is Islam special? 
No. Islam, is isn't it special? Is that true? Is that true? Uh, mm -hmm. Religion and others are fake. Okay, others are fake. Yours is true. So, what makes this religion special and true? What are the beliefs of Islam? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? What are the what are the main you know beliefs? Pray five times. Pray five times. And Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. Very good. What are these things? Namaj. Oh, I thought these are food. I was about to ask, you know, like, oh, were these things delicious or not? <laughs> okay, I thought you were yes. like naming some foods, very, you know, delicious foods, you know, in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you yeah. know, so unfortunately, huh? these are not food. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Do you want some tea? Yeah. I would like, I would like that. Cup of tea. This is not a tea. This is not a cup of tea. This is a glass of water. I can make tea. I, 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 I thought you can't speak. Now I can see you can see. <laughs> That's the name. What? What? <laughs> okay. I don't okay. Have Just a kidding. Tea. Just kidding. Uh, Sorry. Blue. Just kidding. Okay. So, Ryan. Both Ryan, question for both of you. What is Islam? It's a religion, we all know that. But what is it's special true. about this religion? What are the beliefs of this religion? Do you know? Um, uh, love Allah. What? Um, there's only one God. God. There is only is one Allah. God, which is which Allah. Which is Allah, of course. Which is Allah. Yeah. Very good. Thank yeah. you, Ram. So the so main part. So we, we all believe that there is only one God, isn't it? We all yeah. believe this thing, that there is only yes. one God. If someone say, no, there is two God, then he will not be a Muslim. And if someone denies that, oh, there is no God, he will also be, you know, he will, he will be kicked out of Islam, okay? He will no longer be a Muslim. So you have to believe in God and you have to believe that there is only one God who is Allah, okay? This is the very first thing that we need to believe to become a Muslim. And who is a Muslim? We are. The one whose religion is Islam, okay? And whoever is mm -hmm. truthful, and believes in the in the one what who God yeah the yes. one who believes one true God Allah and the one who is very truthful to his words so he's a Muslim that's what say he said okay very good thank you very good answer so do you know um, who are the angels who can tell me who are the angels and okay, do you believe in angels or you say, no, I haven't seen any angels, so I don't believe them? I believe in angels. Who believe uh, angel? Who believe in angel? All of you? Uh, okay. So, okay, how many names you know? Only one. Very good. That's what I That's think. the only name I know. Okay. Okay. So, what if someone doesn't believe in angel? Will he, you know, is he a Muslim? No. 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 Nope. So, no. to be a Muslim, to be a Muslim, it is vital. It is crucial. It is very important to believe in angel. You understand that? Also, you have to believe in the prophets, like prophets. Yeah, yeah, very good point. Or else you could never be a, a Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. So there are certain things which are required. If you really want to be a Muslim, if you say that I am a Muslim, that means you have to believe in some kind of things. 
What are those things we are going to find out in, a, in this course, okay? Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like angels, like prophets, like the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These, these are the things which are called, you know, the articles of faith. Do you know how many articles of faith? Who can yeah. tell me? Who can tell yeah. me how many articles of faith are there? There are three. There are three articles of faith? What are those? No, it's actually there are five or six. I don't know the exact number. There moment, are I five think. or six. What are I those? I think it's six. Can you, can you tell me what are those? It's a penguin and... and it's a penguin? And the North the article of faith? I mean, to become a Muslim, do you have to believe in penguins? Oh my God, I haven't heard those things. Peculiar things. Really? So we have we have learned a new thing today. If you want to be a Muslim, you need to believe in penguins. <laughs> the, from where? He is just silly. He. That's him. That's him. Penguins from Antarctica or from somewhere else? Antarctica. Which, which, which we we should I mean Antarctica. Since there is an Antarctica. Okay. So there is no need to believe in a penguin, okay? <laughs> really, if you want I to. Well, but I'm just showing pictures. Yeah. Uh, look at this. This was kind of goofy. Okay. Oh, Farzad, are you very angry? <laughs> huh? Will you break your device? <laughs> huh? Go for it. I am not. I am not angry. I am not angry. So you are like trying to, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to break you today. Then go on, Farzad. You will get a new one. No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> now you you're just looking knows, at me. I'll tell your mom. I'll tell your mom what you did. Hey, I didn't break it. See, it's still working. Yeah, it's still working, but it could break the way you like shake. Okay. So there are six pillars of Islam. Ryan Rahman is right. Okay. There are six pillars of Islam. Sorry. There are not six pillars of Islam. There are six there are articles of faith. Okay. But there are five pillars of Islam. Six articles of faith, five pillars of Islam. So six articles of faith are the things that you must have believed. You must have believed. If you really want to become a Muslim, you must believe in those things. And the, of course, one of those is not penguin. That's for sure. What are those things? What are those things? I have put these things here. Here. There's what is the first thing? What is the first thing that you see? What is this? Believe in God. Believe in God. So if you really want to become a Muslim, if you if someone says that I'm a Muslim, he must have belief in God. Only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. And the second thing is what? Believe in, believe in, believe in angels. Believe in angels. If someone says that I don't believe in angels, he is not a Muslim. Okay, but if you say that I don't believe in penguins, then you will, <laughs> you are a Muslim, okay? <laughs> so it, it will not affect your Islam. Okay, so if, you know, what is the third point? Believe in believe God's, in God's revealed God. Believe in God's revealed books. Yeah, so can you name some books that Allah revealed? Quran. Quran. Yeah, Quran. one of those, Quran. Quran. Any, Indian. any other book? Tawrah, Zabur, Injil, Quran. Very good. Tawrah, Injil, Zabur, Quran. So these are the revealed books Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. Okay? Throughout the history. Okay, what is, what is the fourth point? Fourth point? Believe, believe, believe in the messengers of God. Believe in the messengers of God. Can you name some of the messengers? Okay, very good. Thank you. So there, you know, the first prophet was Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Okay? His yes. name was Adam. 
he was not only the first prophet but he was also was the first human being ever okay and the last prophet was prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and between these two there were like lots of lots of prophets like hundred of thousand prophets more than hundred of thousands okay and uh, we know a couple of them you know we know you know like 25 or 24 or 26 you know uh, we only know this uh, amount of uh, you know prophets yeah yeah only 25 that we we are aware of okay but there are other apart from these 25 prophets there are a lot of other prophets as well that we are we don't know about them okay what is the fifth point of articles of faith Believe, believe in the, in the day, day of judgment. judgment. Believe in the day of judgment. So if someone says that, you know, there is nothing after death, there will be no judgment, there will be no jannah, there will be no jahannam, there will be no hellfire, there will be no paradise. Will he, will he, you know, will, will he be considered a Muslim? No. 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 So if you really want to be a Muslim, yes, you have to be certain about these things that there are stages after death. Death is not over. Some people believe that death is over. Like if we die, everything is over. No, that is not over. That is just the beginning. Okay. Your death is just the beginning. It's just a, your, death your death is the death door. Is just the middle of your life. Yeah. Ryan Hassan, go on. What happened? What happened? Do you have another class now? Yeah. Okay, you can go on. No problem. You will have the record, video record for the for later. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you. See you in the next session. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. So if you really want to want to be a muslim you need to have belief in these things okay like there is there you will be asked question in in your grave do you know that farzad yes yeah. do you know that you will be asked question yeah. that who is your lord who what religion you know do you belong to and you know uh uh, who is this man, you know, pointing to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? These three questions will be asked when we will be put in our grave in the Qabr, okay? Two fresh start, two angels will come and will ask this question. So, this is the start. The journey is start from Qabr. And in the, you know, when Qiyamah will happen, okay, there will be resurrection. Every person will get up from the Maqbar, from the Qabr from the grave and every person you know everyone will will be running towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and every everyone will gather in a place and there will be like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask questions there will be our our deeds will be measured okay what bad deeds we did what good deeds we did everything will be shown that time and we will be held responsible for everything we are doing in this life. And you will be asked every, for every single moment you are spending. Every second that you are spending. That how did you spend your time? Allah SWT will ask this question. And if you can answer these things. If you are able to answer these things properly. In a right way. Then you will go to heaven. You will go to the paradise. Otherwise, there will be severe punishment, okay? So that's why in this dunya, it is for test, just a test for us. What's the day? We have to be prepared for the next life. Yeah, go on. What happened? What's the day? Huh? Uh, isn't there Jannat and Jahannam? Didn't, yeah, of course. Didn't Allah say that... Uh, like if you go to Jannah, you will stay in Jannah forever. If you go to Jahannam, you will stay over there forever. You will, and I yeah. couldn't believe that with my mind, even how could that be? But it yeah. is forever. There is, there is, there will be no time, okay, in Jannah. 
in Jahannam. So the people who will be in Jannah, they will be living forever. There, there is no end. Like 100 years, 2000 years, like 1 million years, 2 billion years, no. Like you will be living forever. It will never end. Okay? But I don't know what's even forever. Yeah, you will understand. Well, later. if you're going yeah. to like paradise, you, you can ask for anything for Allah. Allah yeah, right you can ask anything you. you want and you will be given. But in Jannaham, you will be tortured in hellfire. Yeah. So, in if this, in this, in this, in this, in this life, in this life, okay, the, you know, we are, we are in taste. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us in this dunya for taste, whether we, we do good things or bad things. If you do the good things, you will go to Jannah. If you do the bad things, you will go to Jahannam. That's simple. So if you, you are like sleeping in the morning and it is Fajr time, your mom is calling you. Get up, get up, get up, get up, pray, pray, pray. And you're like, no, I'll sleep, I can't. Yeah, you know, it feels it feels very good. Yeah, like it's winter yeah, and it is very warm. You, you are in the quilt, okay? You can't just get that up, you don't so want to. Yeah, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if you get up, if you take ablution, if you make udu, despite of the coldness, and if you pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you win. You pass the exam. So in every moment, in every sphere, in every field of our life, we are giving exam. We are in the exam hall. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us whether we do good things or bad things. Whether we listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. Whether we are submitting ourselves, we are surrendering ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at us and seeing us and watching over us where what we are doing. So if you do good stuff, you'll end up in Jannah. And if you like don't listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you just ignore those things, if you don't listen to your mom, your parents, if you are very, you know, if you behave like bad with them, then the punishment is waiting for you. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned us about it. That, hey, be careful. You know? Be careful about the hereafter. There will be one day, the final day. In that day, you will be asked the questions about what you are doing in this life. How you are spending your time in this life. Okay? If you can answer properly that, oh Allah, I prayed five times. I gave zakah, I treated, you know, I, you know, like I treated people respectfully, you know, and, you know, and uh, if you can answer those questions, then everything will be easy for you and you will be, you know, rewarded with Jannah. But if you can, if you say, no, Allah, I didn't pray. I didn't listen to my parents. You know, I was very bad. And, you know, I like, slept i didn't fast in ramadan i haven't listened to you i haven't read the quran then it will be very bad okay so this is the belief in the day of judgment okay Tasnim, what do you say what happened shaitan is the one who wants us to go through yeah death. shaitan is the one who wants us to go to hell okay he wants yeah. us to ask for, you know, to end up in hell. But we have to be strong. We have to challenge shaitan that, no, you can't, you know, like, take me to Jahannam. I am the one who is in charge, okay? So you can, like, you can, like, you know, uh, you can be firm, okay? You can, like, do uh, what you want. And, uh, you know, despite of the shaitan and his, uh, you know, uh, like uh, waswasa inspiration, okay. So and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala promised. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala promised that those people who will stick with the Quran, who will be like uh, asking forgiveness to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will forgive us, okay. Even if someone makes mistakes, even someone you know like do does some wrong, but if he asks forgiveness to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will forgive. 
Okay. Yeah, Anas, if my face, what you are saying something? It's a Iblis is Shaitan. Yeah, the name of the biggest Shaitan is Iblis. Okay. So the he's leader like, of the jinn. Yeah, leader of the jinn. Have you ever seen him? Never. No? Oh. He cannot be seen. He, 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 he can get in our head. And yeah. if we see, we will say, A'udhu Billahi Mina Shaitan Rajim. Yeah, that's why we say, A'udhu Billahi Mina Shaitan Rajim. That means we ask protection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from that you know, evil shaitan. Okay? Devil. Ryan, do you say Audu Billah in a shaitan rajim? Ryan Rahman? Audu Billah in a shaitan rajim. Do you know what does that mean? That means God. We want protection from the biggest shaitan. Yeah. That's it. Okay? You know that. So say again, Audu Billah in a shaitan rajim. Say again, Ryan. Try it. Audu billah, shaitan rajim. Audu billah, say Audu billah. Oid Audu billah. Minash. Minon. Shaitan rajim. Shaitan rajim. Audu billah minash shaitan rajim. Audu billah hi minash shaitan rajim. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. So, so this is like six articles of faith. Uh, in the next session, I will ask. Oh, last, last, last thing. What was the sixth, sixth article? What is the sixth we, article? Belief in, in predestination. Predestination. predestination means Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows actually whatever happened in the past, whatever is happening right now. And what will happen in the future? Allah SWT knows everything because He is all knowing. Okay? Yes. So there is nothing that Allah SWT is not aware of, even about your future. So, Ryan Rahman, do you know what will you eat like uh, after a week? Do you know? Who knows? Nobody knows. We could be like, we could be like, you know, like, uh, we, we, we could be like sick after a week. Okay. We could be like very happy. We could be like very sad. Uh, we don't know. We might be, you know, we might end up in very, in a very bad situation. That could possibly happen. But I know I'm going to New York, New York in July 12th. What? Like, like I'm going to New York to, to yeah, see my if, if you, you know, if you are healthy, if you are not sick, and if you live that long, okay? Only in, you know, in that case, you can do that. You understand? But there are a lot of possibilities. You might be sick, or there might be some problem, okay? You know, there could be a lot of possibilities. But, you know, most probably you will be, you'll, you'll go by the plan. But a lot of time plan doesn't go well. Isn't it? So I am telling about the thing that, you know, what you will eat tomorrow, you don't know. You don't know for sure. Maybe, you know, you don't know what even, you know, your mom, what she is going to cook, she doesn't even know, maybe. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what you are going to eat tomorrow. What are the things that you will have for your lunch? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything. Okay, so what, what we are going to eat, what will happen to us, uh, you know, the disaster, calamity, bad things, good things, everything is written. Okay, it is known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is called taqdeer or qadr or predestination. Okay. Okay, uh, Anas, you can go. For two, you have like two minutes to return to the class. Okay, so these are the six articles of faith. I will ask in the next session that what are the six articles of faith? You have to tell me, okay? okay. Ryan, you understand? Both Ryan, you understand? Both of you. I will ask in the next session. Yep. 
that what are the articles of faith tell me you have to like tell me you have to memorize belief in allah belief in the angels belief in the books belief in the prophets belief in the day of judgment belief in the fate or predestination or qadr so these are the these are called six articles of faith if you really want to be a believer if you want to be a muslim you must you must believe in these six articles of faith okay and there are some other five things as well which are called five pillars of islam who can tell me what are the five pillars of islam me one pillar is a penguin one pillar is not oh. a penguin and that is not a penguin at all this this doesn't look like a penguin it doesn't have even a even a head where is the head and the five pillars Shahada, Salah, and Hajj. Very good. So, six articles of faith are these things that we need to believe in. And five pillars of Islam are the things that we need to act upon. Like we need to say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. That there is no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, you know, you, you need to bear witness that I bear witness that there is no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Muhammad is the messenger and prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to bear witness. You need to declare this faith. Okay? So this is the first pillar. Second pillar is salat. You need to pray five times a day. Third pillar is zakat. If you have like, if you are a wealthy person, if you have a certain amount of money, or wealth, you need to give a portion of your money to the poor people, to the needy people. It is compulsory. This is called zakat. Mm -hmm. And when the month of Ramadan comes, we need to fast a month. Okay? So this is called saum. And as for hajj, hajj is pilgrimage. When people go to Makkah and, you know, do the, you know, the rituals and things. Hajj. So these are the five pillars. What are the five pillars? Tell me. What are the five pillars? Salat. Shahada. 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 Salat. Salat. Zakat. Saum. Hajj. Saum. Hajj. Zakat. Saum. Hajj. Yeah. Okay. So these are the five pillars. I have put these things here with a little, uh, you know, like uh, description. Shahada means faith, you know, declaration of faith. You have to declare your faith. Okay. And salat means prayer. Five times daily prayer, obligatory prayer. And zakat means, you know, almsgiving, which is, you know, like if you have like enough money, you need to give a certain amount to the poor and needy people every year. Okay. This is called zakat. Psalm is fasting, the act of fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. And Hajj is pilgrimage, the sacred pilgrimage to Makkah. Okay? Uh, you need to do it e once in your lifetime, at least once. Okay? Not five times, not like ten times, only once, at least. If you do more, then it's good. You will, be more, you will get more reward. But at um, least I once in your lifetime, you have to do it. Yeah, Ryan, what happened? One thing, only adults get to fast in Ramadan. And also, there's a non-mandatory pilgrim pilgrimage called Umrah. Yeah, Umrah. Sure. Yeah, the non-obligatory pilgrimage is Umrah. That is minor pilgrimage, okay? It is called Umrah. We'll talk about that, inshallah, <laughs> later. Yeah, who is... I gave, I gave some... I gave some needy people... I gave food to needy people. Wow, very good. That is a very wonderful thing. Uh, very nice of you, okay? We should help the, you know, those people who are needy and who are like poor, you know, the way we possible, okay? So it is very important. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you with uh, wealth, then you can help people other out, okay? That's That's the... Uh, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase his blessing on you. Okay? If you if someone is misery, if he like doesn't want to give charity or something, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, decreases his wealth. 
Okay. It's so, G. yeah, go on. Hmm? What, mm -hmm. Ryan Rahman? Any, did you ask anything? Um, are we, are, is this class over? Kind of. Is there any mm. question from anyone? Yeah. Um, is there any question? Yeah. If you don't have any question, then we <laughs> think, I think we are over for today. Uh, in On the Saturday, we'll have our next session, okay? And the, the lecture sheet that you are seeing here, the presentation, it will be given in your WhatsApp group. When will we find our article? What article? This article. You will you will be uh, you will you will be asked you know in the next session about these articles. Okay. And this lecture sheet will be given right now, just after the class in your WhatsApp group. Okay, that's G. Okay, any more question from anyone else? Mm. Nope. Okay, then nope. I think we are done for session. today. So it was very nice to meet you. See you in the next session, inshallah. Till then, stay well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.